Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to create flickering light. So we can just start by creating a new folder, calling it materials. We can right click, get material, call it material flick flickering light. And from here we can instantly change material domain to light function and get our time, which we are gonna multiply with our speed. Multiply and if we hold 1 and click left click, we're gonna get constant, but we can also type constant. So, uh, oh, we need to convert to parameter and call it to speed, of course. And we're gonna put speed of 1 per second. Okay, then we're gonna pull the sign, and from sign we're gonna pull frag. And from that we're gonna pull clamp, and we're gonna click one and left click, one and left click, again you can just type constant. We're gonna call it minimum intensity. And this one we're gonna call max intensity. So we're gonna pull like this, this. And we can put some ram random numbers like 0, 05 as a minimum and 1 as a max intensity. And we're gonna connect it to emissive color. So you can see we already have some flickering light that we can actually test so if we let's make a little bit of of space and make it a little bit dark so we can see how it works we can just take this Okay, so here we're gonna put our point light, just a normal light, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase a little bit intensity and we're gonna change the light function material to the flickering light. And if we if we watch closely, oh, okay, shadows. So. If we watch closely, you can see we already have a flickering light, but this flickering light is not quite random. And if we wanted to make it random, we would do it like this. We will create... We're gonna create instance. Then we're gonna create folder for blueprint. We're gonna create new folder called actors. And we're gonna create blueprint class actor and we're gonna call it BP flickering light. So we're gonna open our flickering light and inside of it we're gonna add point light so we can attach the flickering light material. And in construction script we're gonna uh, set intensity of our spotlight. So we're just gonna drag it and set intensity and we're gonna promote it to a variable and call it intensity and the default is gonna be our default intensity which is 5000 and from there we can go to the event begin play and we can call the triggerable delay and our duration is gonna be random float in range and we're gonna promote these two to a variable, min time, and this one is gonna be called max time. So now we will put, we'll compile, and we're gonna put min minimum time 0.1 and maximum time 0.3. So after that, what we want to do is we're gonna call flip flop. So every time this is triggered, it can go A, then B, then A, then B. So we put set intensity point light and we can go ahead and copy this one as well and for this one we're gonna promote it also to variable and call it min flicker intensity and this is gonna be for me 3500 but you can play with it and do whatever you want make sure to connect it here and this one we're just gonna plug our intensity that we made in our construction script so now 
what we need to do is we need to pull this back all the way to retriggerable delay. And I'm gonna just make it so I know what I'm doing. And we can put this one here as well. And then we can just do it like this. And now when we go compile and save, if we put our actor in the scene and we press play, you can see this one is, um, uh, it all depends what kind of game you want, but this one is not really realistic and this one is more realistic and you can play with the, you can play with the durations and stuff and see what fits your needs. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see ya.